So, probably a monthly roundup. Now, as I don't think I've done a video for a while, um, summer holidays at the minute, so Maxi involved quite a bit. Um, and firstly, you know, I think we all feel very proud of Team GB um, winning gold at Tokyo. Um, you know, on paper, they're the strongest team by a mile. And, you know, how often would you have three three combinations there with three five-star winners um, over the last 12 months, 24 months? So unbelievable calibre of team, but they still got it done and got it done, you know, in the class that you'd hope. And I was absolutely delighted for little Tommy McEwen who got the individual silver and you know it, it is an unbelievable horse you know without doubt but he has you know done such an incredible job with it over the years of producing it and as much as we'd all love to have a horse like him you know without doubt Tommy has made him as brilliant as he is as well so you know I just I just thought that was absolutely brilliant for Tommy and so so deserved um, he was beautiful to watch and what a fabulous horseman and competitor he is. So um, I hope he's enjoying all the all the credit he and they deserve. Um, and it was it was good watching. I love I love fairy tales and I think it was a fairy tale for Julia as well over the last few years of, um, you know, her ups and downs and to come out on on top I think really was a fairy tale ending and all the individual medalists and hoy boy as well at his age <laughs> oh it's just a, you know with a fabulous little horse as well I mean it really is a absolute little dinger and you know all credit to him I think it's it's sad for the sport um very sad for Mickey Young I thought that situation was was bad um you know, and surely something needs needs doing ab about that. He is, without doubt, I think, the event rider of our era. And, you know, he was... That took away that pin dropping through jumping the fence very safely, very well, cost him another individual gold medal title at an Olympic Games. And um, through really not doing anything wrong, I think, is is cruel. Um, and surely things need to get looked at of that way. Um, but it was Julia's day, and like I say, it was a fairy tale ending for her. So well done, everyone. And um, we've just been getting back into action or trying to, thinking we were away for a while. We let a few of the horses down, so a few have been, you know, changing plans quite quickly. Um, we've been used to that the last couple of years with COVID and events on and off, so it wasn't too hard to adapt to. I have given Brookfield Innocent a couple of weeks off. He was obviously very fit and raring to go, and so I just have let him down, put him in the field for a couple of weeks, let him down a little bit to then hopefully be able to bring him back up for an autumn campaign, which would be great if it was the... Europeans which we're still awaiting selection on and there's I think 18 on the list or something delightful to try and choose from so um but for me I, I just felt I couldn't keep him it was wrong to try and keep him at peak fitness usually you have a name you do it you let them down give them a break and build back up to something so that's what we've done with him and so it was just Getting back with all the others, some have stepped up to their first time intermediates at Aston Walls. Um, we had a good show there with a few of the six-year-olds, Cooley Anything You Like, and Brookfield Future News, um, stepping up to their first intermediates and and going really well. So that's that's always exciting. That definitely is a gives you a buzz when the younger ones start stepping up and make the step up easy and feel really nice exciting horses um so we had a few placings 
there. Um, we went up to Bergen as well, um, which was a good show. That's a great competition. We love making the trip up there. The courses are fab. The going's always great, and that was a that was a good competition, even though we got rained on a fair bit. Um, but we also went. We had a treat afterwards that we went to Kinlock House Hotel. We got invited as guests by the owner, Graham Allen. And we've been there a couple of times before for um, some stays away. And it is a piece of heaven in Scotland. If anyone ever wants some lovely hotel to go to where the food is amazing, like unbelievable. Um, it was absolutely glorious just for a couple of days. Kinlock House Hotel and anyone heading to Blair or got connections, or anyone wants a, a treat for a night, or a, a unbelievable meal, I promise you, there's not one bit about it that would disappoint you. It is unbelievable. Kidlock House Hotel. Um, we went there for a couple of nights, treat after Bergam and watched the end of the Olympics um, as a guest from them, which was a very, very special treat. Um, so we were very spoiled then. And have come back into action. Um, I went to Hartbury with a beautiful young horse called Cooley Lancer, um, who unfortunately threw a splint at the end of last summer, just before going to Leon as a seven-year-old, having won it as a six-year-old. He's a really exciting young horse that um, it took a while to get over the splint issue. So he's only run a couple of times this year. So we took him to Hartbury for his three star, um, inexperienced enough to be honest, and it was a good track there at Hartbury, and he performed by far the best test that he's done. So I was delighted with him because he's not um, he's not always found that phase. He's a great mover, but he's a very big horse that's you know grown plenty. He's got a lot of exuberance and try to just train him to get to relax and get to the right shape has, has taken a little bit of time, but he did by far his best test he's done and showed so much potential and excitement for the future. So I was delighted with that. And the cross country was, was a decent track. It was tough for what he's done, how little he's done. And I thought there were some questions that wasn't totally clear enough and you know I I did have a runoff coming out of the water I just got a little bit mentally tired I I do whinge at three days when everything gets so late and we were running cross country at seven o'clock at night and I'm a big fan of Heartbreak I think what they've done to the event over the years and the ground and the whole competition is phenomenal and it has changed to, you know it has now become a fabulous event but I do think you know at three days I always think when horses are going that distance for the first time and have done nothing all day when normally you've done the dressage and show jumping and you know they're used to that sort of system but to wait all day for that time of night to run a distance they've never run before um, I just always feel that I'm uneasy with that and feel that there should be things we need to to try and prevent that in the future to be honest but he ran he ran fine but he, he just got a little bit mentally tired so had a baby mistake um if there was an option there even before I got to the fence it would have been my plan to have done knowing where the horse was sort of mentally with what he was doing and knew that it would be a, a a bit of a tricky fence to get to with how the jumps were positioned of not that clear for them and his ride had just gone a little bit a little bit strung out and just slightly labored in his in his mind but still galloped galloping really well to the end to to finish well finish sound and jump well on the last day an unlucky early pole but you know he's a fabulous horse and very exciting um so he was there and then we have just been to Summerford horse trials, which again, I think is probably, you know, definitely one of the best, if not the best one day event, to be honest, in the country um, of 
the international feel. It runs an international, but the feel for all classes is phenomenal. The the footing, the the arenas, both the grass arenas, the all weather arena to jump on the the cross country courses, the terrain. It's a seriously horse friendly place. Um, I think it's without doubt, as I said, one of the best events that there is in the country, and I really hope um, they get the green light to do more with the event and take it to full star or whatever they want to do. Because my goodness, we need in our sport a place, places like that 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 can deliver like they do deliver every time without fail and I felt so sorry for them when it rained and rained and kept raining again because they've had a bad old run of it over the last few years of cancellations randomly for end of August um, but it's just not been really their luck um, but they did keep running it was wonderful for the horses it makes a mess of the place I'm sure but the, the going hold, held up great um, and I Loved, loved it on all. I just really wanted to canter as many horses round on my own there as I possibly could to educate them, give them a great time, come out of it very well. A um, couple of horses there in the three star that finished third and fourth. Um, I Diablo Joe, he led the dressage, which was very exciting. He's a beautiful horse, but it's taken, you know, to just get all the little mistakes trying ironing them out as is starting to come too so that was fab um he had a rail down but you know jumped well and as i said they all ran very well there and it's a super competition and an exciting seven-year-old who actually won the six-year-old national championships last year did his second three-star coolie goodwood um and in a massive field came third so I was very proud of him um, because he's stepping up and he stepped up very easily and, you know, his coming of age as a seven-year-old, as I said, and really performed as best as he could do. Um, so a cool show. And we're now getting into, you know, getting close now to the autumn run of three days, which will actually be really exciting because we've missed it for two years. Um Bicton, good on them, getting getting a five star going. Um, Vanir Kamira has entered for there, bless her. So you know, at the age of sixteen, I'm sure she'll love scampering up and down around those hills as flat out with her <laughs> with her nose down, gritting her teeth. Come on, mum, off we go. It's like, well, gosh. Um, and Blenheim, you know, really excited to be at our old wonderful places that um is what the sport's all about and that we keep working towards to be somewhere fabulous again that gives give our owners a good week out and have something really decent to aim for which is fabulous so we're looking forward to the last little autumn autumn run of three days and and good luck everyone with that and um, we will see you all about. Okay, bye.